section 3.3, Other Common Functions. In this section, we're going to be looking at some common functions in math, and you need to know the following parent functions. Expect for possibly a pop quiz tomorrow. All right, the first set of parent functions you need to know are positive exponent functions. x squared. We have been doing a lot of work with parabola, so we know that x squared looks like that. What we find, though, is that x to the fourth has a similar appearance. It's just a little skinnier. And that x to the sixth is even skinnier. But that all even positive exponents has, have this parabola look to them. Okay, for odd exponents, such as x cubed, we get something like that, which looks like the parabola of x squared as if we made the other left side flip so it was going downward. Again, we see a similar pattern that x to the fifth has a similar shape, just skinnier. And x to the seventh is even skinnier. But know what x squared looks like, know what x cubed looks like, and know what happens as the exponents get higher, the graphs get skinnier. Negative exponents. So if we have x to the negative 2, which is x to the 1 over x squared, our graph looks like this. And we see similar shapes for Sorry, that was 1 over x squared. We see similar shapes as the exponent takes on a higher value. And that it actually pulls these graphs towards the axes. But in general, what I want you to know is that 1 over x squared, or x to the negative 2, has this general shape. Okay, odd exponents. So odd negative exponents, such as 1 over x cubed, looks like this. So similar to 1 over x squared, but what we find is that the left side looks as though it's been flipped over the x-axis. And We'll talk about why that is in class, but in general the reason that that happens is because if we have a value to an even exponent, you already know that no matter what value x is, that will make the answer positive, positive. and that's why with x squared, or 1 over x squared, we see that the graph only exists where y is positive. What happens with our odd exponents, such, a, such as x cubed and 1 over x cubed, is that if x is negative, the output will be negative, which is why we see that we have some negative output values we have negative output values. And lastly, we have roots. There are even roots and there are odd roots that we're going to look at. 